Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me for a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits using the October kit. Oh my goodness, this kit is so wonderful. I'm going to give you a bit of a preview as we start off this video today, seeing this is the first one I'm doing for the month. The mixed media kit is a darkroom door stencil which has word phrases like friends and buddies and family and things like that. And we also received the Shimmer Sheer Shimmer Craft Spray in sparkle and in gold. I've never used this, but these particular ones, and oh my goodness, they are so gorgeous. I can't I can't wait for you to use them. Now, the papers that we have in this month's kit are from the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection. And oh my goodness, this collection is gorgeous. It has a very autumnal feel to it. There is really rich uh, oranges and yellows and also some pinks and some blues and things like that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, did you, uh, it was probably too fast. But that paper, pattern paper with the leaves has got the most deepest greeny blue and it is so beautiful. I am absolutely going to make sure I use that paper, pattern paper. And this blue one coming up as well. I mean, look at that blue. Just beautiful. I also have fussy cut out on the right hand side there, one of the pa pattern papers as well already. And that is a the pattern paper that is full of autumnal leaves. And you'll see why in a moment. The rest of the kit has the gold thicker thickers as, as along with the Paige Evans thicker phrases and and icons as well. These are beautifully foamed as well, so give you some great dimension on the page and great sayings as well. There's a few home type sayings, there's some craft type sayings, um, so lots of things to choose from there. This is the Jane ha Jan Hadfield uh, ephemera pack and also the Paige Evans floral ephemera pack. That is gorgeous, those floral ephemera. There are some butterflies and flowers and also leaf stems and leaves as well. And those wonderful acrylic hearts as well. So the layout that I decided to start off with today is using those fantastic fussy cutout leaves. So originally I started, I did do this a little bit off camera at first because I wasn't quite sure what these glimmer sprays look like. But oh, they were so pretty. I decided to keep that page. This was just a bit of a practice page. Um, but I decided to make that my background for this layout to give that real golden feel to it. So I just sprayed some of the glimmer, some of the shimmer uh, spray across the page. And it's got quite a large, when you use the nozzle, it's got quite a large spray area. So you do need to be mindful of that, but it does give the most beautiful shimmer. And I thought it would be a lovely accent underneath the leaves. So with this photo, I just was so drawn to the leaves because this one day when we went to Toowoomba, which is about an hour and a half west of Brisbane here in Queensland, and we don't normally in Queensland have a lot of autumn colours and trees and things like that, but Toowoomba does because it does has it does fluctuate in its weather a little bit throughout the year. And we visited this I have absolutely no recollection of why we went to Toowoomba on this particular day, but we were in um, the their big park, which is called Queens Park, and we it was it was a freezing cold day. You can see Oscar there. That's a photo of him, um, and he's all rugged up in a jumper. It was quite cold, um, but when we got to the park, there was just areas where there were just mounds of leaves everywhere. So he spent the whole time lifting them up in the air and having them fall all over him and have, absolutely having a ball. So that's why when as soon as I saw these these leaves in this pattern paper, I thought I know exactly what photo I'm going to use for this. I'm really not sure how old this photo is. I, he's very young there. This was a photo that was in my photo box. It's not online. It's not in digital form so I have no idea when it was taken I'd have to go back probably into old USB sticks and maybe even CDs to see where where this photo how long ago this was but he's very young so what I've done here to put the page together I wanted to give the feel that the leaves were falling from the sky you will see a little bit further down um, I do change the angle of some of these leaves when I start sticking them down you'll see here I've got them quite sort of straight across the page but that doesn't really give the whole 
uh, eclectic feel, I guess, of leaves sort of turning around the page. So I do, once I'm gluing these down, which I did pop up some on some craft foam as well, I do start angling some of those leaves to give them the flight um, sort of feel like they're looking. So that one on the right hand side there, I've given that a bit of a skew. And then you'll see now that when I'm putting them and gluing these down, I'm actually giving them a little bit of an angle to show that, to, to give the look, I guess, that they're falling in haphazardly down a, a, over um, Oscar's head there. I've also added some of the floral ephemera on the right hand side, just to form a little bit of a cluster. And that, and added one of the, um, tags that was in the Jan Hadfield thing as well with the title calling smile that also the title saying like this I like this place was actually a house so there was a chimney on that piece but seeing we weren't inside or has nothing to do with the home I did cut off that little chimney of that piece and that's become my title it's really just because I, I do remember this day I don't not not like I said before, I don't know when, why we were there, but I do remember watching him having so much fun, which is why I thought that was a great title for the page as well. So I've just added on those things at the bottom there, just to give a little bit of a cluster at the bottom. And I've added that big branch as well. And that was in the, the floral ephemera pack as well from the Paige Evans. I do add some of the large size butterflies onto the page as well. I mean, What's a page without a butterfly? Um, Paige Evan does the just beautiful butterflies. So I do add those to sit in amongst the leaves. I do finish off the layer with some gold splatters across the page. I do cover his face thankfully this time I often forget to do that but I did cover with some plastic and that pretty much ends and finishes at the layout this was a super quick layout to come pull together once I'd fussy cuddle out all those leaves of course um, so I want to say thank you so much for joining me today I hope I've inspired you just a little bit and I hope you enjoy your October kits don't forget to share on our kidaholics community group and if you haven't already and you would like to become a subscriber, you also have access to a private Facebook group. And we also, the design team shares exclusives every month as well. And you get exclusive things as being part of the sub subscriber groups as well. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the description box below. There will also, oh no, in the comments below, in the description box will be the link to the store. And the final layout is coming up any moment. And I've got some close-ups as well. So as again, thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.